hello guys in this video we will see how we can hide a field inside a one to many field so for this example i will show you in a sale order form so as you know this is the sale order form and this is the one to many field of that sale order form which is order line so for this example we will see the taxes the tax id we will hide this tax id based on the state of the sale order so we will make it visible only on the state sale so let us do that so first of all we will just take the form external id of the form so that we can inherit it so inside the xml file just so, so you can see we can see many examples of this so we'll just take one so i'll paste it here And we make the close all the fields. Now we will just make a uh, changes on the names. one too many so this is our field which is order line and as you know this is in a tree view so we will need to find the tax id the original definition of the tax id so just search that Just search this view form. So, this is the view form, the original view form. Let's open that. Inside that, we have the form for sale order, and inside that, we have the order lines. So, this is the original definition of this order line so inside that it has form view and tree view since this is the tree view we will focus on that so we need the field called tax id so you can see here is the tax id so what we are going to do is that we will add a new attribute to make it invisible based on the state of the sale order so for that attributes so now let us search how they def define expect the attributes so we'll put here This is an example of writing an attribute. So we will take that and apply it here. So this was the original attribute. We will give that first. Now to make this field a column invisible based on the state we use something called a column invisible so so 
So this is how you use the column invisible. So we'll just copy that. And we'll just paste it here. So here we are making this column in this, this field invisible based on the state. So if the state is state uh, sale order, then only you need to see the taxes. Otherwise, it should be invisible. That is our case here. So what we are going to do is that this is the parent model. So we will write parent dot state. So it will be already the parent dot state equal to. So we only want to see this field in the sale state. So it is invisible in all the other states which is not same and we close those and as you see this is inside the tree view definition so we will write it as tree the field will be tax id so that's how we write it so let us check it out so we are written the so now let us uh, refresh it So as you can see now, you can still see the tax field in the quotation state. So we will now install it. Now when you go to the sales, try to create a quotation. As you can see now, the tax field is not visible because the quotation is in new state. So now let us see a quotation that is already done in sale order. So this quotation is in sale order. As you can see here, the taxes are visible. So this is how you hide a field inside a one-to-many field using column invisible. Thank you. If you are interested in knowing more about this, or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.